guys welcome back to my youtube channel so this is basically an eyelash tutorial video i hope you guys do enjoy this video the reason why i took so long to finally film and upload one is because i cannot find my favorite lashes anywhere i go my favorite lashes are the i Lure exaggerate i think they're 143 lashes um they have that whole 3d effect mink kind of sort of dramatic lashes which is what i like but i ended up settling for the texture ones the improved style which is 117 they also have that 3d effect but they're not as dramatic as i would like them to be as you guys can see um in my other video i did use extremely dramatic lashes which i got from china mall i learned is a bit more reserved no i'm lying they actually do have dramatic lashes but yeah i use these on all my clients um on myself i'm very experimental when it comes to lashes like if i see a nice pair of lashes i'll buy it anyway but i know is definitely my go-to eyelash brand because their lashes are very they have a natural not natural but they brush they bristles the hairs don't look as synthetic as lashes that you buy from china mall for example and they're extremely soft and flexible and you can easily manipulate them by putting mascara to make them look more dramatic or leaving them natural to you know keep that whole natural effect if that's what you like so yeah these lashes were 100 i'm lying <laughs> These lashes were 58 Rand and you can get lashes that are 50 Rand, 54 Rand from Isla, but they all range between that price. The reason why these ones are slightly pricier than the rest is because they are a new and improved style. And what else? They do come with the glue and they are reusable. I really do think that you guys should reuse your lashes, especially if you're going to be spending 50 rand, 58 Rand on a box of lashes. I mean, why use them once and dispose of them? That's a waste of money. You can literally use your lashes until they start looking like some type of way. Just make sure that you clean them with um, either makeup remover or baby shampoo and store them on a cotton pad or something of that sort. Don't put them like in your wallet or in your makeup bag because they will lose the shape. To apply my lashes, I use the Duo Adhesive eyelash glue i'm not too sure how much this is i'll have to google and leave it in the description box below because i got this while um from my lecturer during a makeup class you can get this from mac stores and england counters i do mention that in the video again okay so i'm using the isla london texture lashes number 117 these are long angled lashes with a twisty and messed up finish they kind of like 3d lashes they're not the typical ones if you see them from the side they just curve up they do have a 3d natural effect which i really do like about them so you're gonna open the packaging obviously okay so it does come with its own glue but i personally don't like using the glue um because i do have a better one which is the duo adhesive glue which you can get from mac or you can get from inglot makeup counters and when you're applying your lashes okay you first want to remove them from the packaging however long this part is you're going to measure the lash and then you're going to cut um whatever you don't need and you don't want to stick your lashes too close to your tear duct because if you do water or if you cry or anything happens they're going to start coming off the glue isn't permanent um, lash glue it's semi-permanent so water does make it come off so you need to um literally stick from where your natural lashes start which is past the tear duct so i don't really measure anymore i sort of know by now how long my eyes are so i'm just gonna cut off the last bristle taking my eyelash glue I'm going to put this along the tape of the lashes. Some people do just um, put this onto a surface so that they can dip the eyelashes on it. I personally feel like that's wasting product. So you're just gonna squeeze a little bit out like that and then you're gonna run it along your lash tape. And you don't want to put too much glue because then it shows and it just looks very messy. Like that. 
Okay, so I don't apply my lashes to like right after I put on the glue because then they start running and they don't stick well. So I first just let them sit for about 30 seconds, not too long, so that the glue can get tacky and sticky. So as soon as you stick them, they stay in place. You don't want to be moving them around or have glue running onto your eyeshadow and running your eyeshadow, etc. etc. You don't really have to worry too much about that though if you're a beginner because this glue does dry clear. Make sure, because there's different types of glues. There's a black one, which obviously is going to leave a black stain. That's fine if you're someone who's going for a smoky eye or whatever. But if you are someone who likes natural makeup as well, I do recommend you buy the clear one because it dries clear. Okay, so I'm going to take the right lash. And guys, I don't use tweezers because I feel like it's easier for me to apply lashes with my fingers. Yeah, I usually do have nails, well sometimes, so I just use my nails to poke it into the right place and stuff. And I also actually do that with my clients, and they don't mind. So if you want to use tweezers, you can. I just don't trust them. I feel like I'm going to poke my eye out if I do use that. So let's get into it. So what I do is I first place the center part where I want it to sit. And there you go, your lashes are on. So now let's do the other side. Now once your lashes are stuck on and they dry, you're gonna grab any mascara you like. I'm using my Yardley Volume Lash Mascara and I'm just gonna basically blend my natural lashes with my false ones by brushing them all together. You don't wanna put too much mascara on your false lashes because if you are someone who reuses them, they do become clumpy and gross. You can clean them with um, makeup remover, but that just creates I just try to wear that. Hey guys, this is how I apply false lashes. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you guys want to know anything else, you can comment below. Yeah, and let me know if you have any other video requests. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.